Sparkman won a pair of Class 7A, Area 7 games at home on Friday over Huntsville 5-1 and 11-4 to take a 2-1 series win in the tight area race. Grisham, at 4-1, leads the area and Huntsville is second at 4-2 with the Senators at 3-3. Albertville is fourth at 0-5. Sparkman holds the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over Huntsville, who plays Grisham this week. Two Huntsville wins gives the Crimson Panthers the title while a split means Grisham is number one and Huntsville is second. If Grisham takes the first two games, the Tigers are number one, Sparkman is number two and Huntsville is eliminated. Huntsville won the opening game of the series last Monday, 1-0 with a walk-off RBI by Troy University signee Chase Cartroon. In Friday's Game 1, all the runs came in the fourth inning. Huntsville broke on top as William Carter drove in Stephen Cavaco. Sparkman responded with four runs, by Braxton Williams, Will Petcher, Jaden Hammonds, and Miguel Lang, running for Ty Aikum. Ryan Gross went 3 for 4 for the Senators, who also got singles from Williams, Ryan Everly, and Ty Aikum. Garrett Mullins earned the win for the Senators, giving up an earned run on six hits with seven strikeouts and no walks in seven innings. Brody King took the loss for Huntsville, allowing five runs, one earned, on five hits with nine strikeouts and seven walks in 4.2 innings. Reese Thomas worked 1.1 innings, giving up a hit with a strikeout and a walk. Cartoon and Carter had doubles in the loss. Riley Moss went 2 for 2 and Huntsville got singles from Jax McClung and Cavaco. In Game 2, Sparkman managed 7 hits to Huntsville's 11. Both teams had 3 errors. The Senators answered a first inning run from Huntsville with 4 in the bottom of the inning. The Panthers scored another run in the top of the 5th and Sparkman responded again with 4 more runs. Huntsville scored another run in the 6th and the home team pushed across 3 more. Huntsville's lone run in the seventh made the final margin. Cartroon went two for three for Huntsville, Garner Farrell was two for four with a run scored and Moss was two for three. The Panthers also got hits from McClung, Cavaco, Wyatt Howell, Landon Scott, and Carter. Cavaco was saddled with the loss, allowing seven earned runs on five hits with five strikeouts and three walks in 4.1 innings. Sims Bowman gave up four runs, one earned, on two hits with a pair of walks in 1.2 innings. Everly got the win for Sparkman, giving up four unearned runs on ten hits with four strikeouts and two walks in six innings. Richard Freyholtz worked an inning in relief, allowing a hit and notching a strikeout. Sparkman's seven singles came from Williams, Petcher, Everly, Kuros, Trey Agu, Wyatt Shears, and Hammonds. Gross scored three runs, Cole Darby and Amory Jabbar scored one with Williams, Petcher and Everly scoring two apiece. In other high school springs sports from over the weekend. The second-ranked Class 7A Patriots swept a doubleheader at Florence on Saturday to complete the Area 8 series with three wins. On Friday, Bob Jones topped the Falcons 9-3.